uh, if you have high or neglected blood pressure, uh, uncontrolled diabetes, your risk of preserved ejection fraction increases. So does that mean that if you manage your uh, blood pressure well and you manage your diabetes well and you know increase your activity levels you can prevent the occurrence uh, of uh, heart failure preserved ejection fraction uh, well on a public health point of view i think this is the best uh, message that uh, you and i can give to the uh, to the public mm. and this is essentially the reason uh, uh, as you have actually uh, the patient engage uh, uh, the whole uh, uh, the uh, your your motto is to inform engage and then empower people mm. i would say this is the most important line which we can share with people that high blood pressure remains often asymptomatic right. people for many many years say doctor sahab mere ko to kuch nahi hota isse mai to they, some of them take pride mai mm. mai to doctor sahab itne pressure se bhi uh, chalta rehta hu Hmm. so that is the subset who later subsequently suffers and we uh, have actually the awareness of high blood pressure uh, one third of the world population which has about 1.5 billion out of the world population of 8 billion 1.5 billion people have high blood pressure and one third of them are aware out of the ones who are aware only one third are taking medicines and out of the ones who are taking medicine only one third have control and there is lot of indian data which we today have which shows that 20% of urban high blood pressure patients and 10% of rural high blood pressure patients are controlled mm. and as you rightly said same is true for diabetes also correct and uh, we teach our students and tell our patients also that the, it's a silent killer so mm. very very important point you just made that if anyone controls high because it has to act at that level because by the time heart failure develops the battle is already actually half lost right. so if somebody someone really wants to be aware and looking after his health it is at that stage that you control your blood pressure even if it is producing no symptoms visit your gp on a regular basis take your medicines whatever have been prescribed on a regular basis and not irregularly control your sugar control your weight be active go for a regular walk and these are the things which are going to take away right thank you thank you doctor i think that is very important as you said that the percentage of uh, people who do not control or who have uncontrolled hypertension and uncontrolled diabetes in our country is very very high uh, and that's really uh, thank you for reiterating that in message fact, Parna, even in the world uh, even in the western civilization sometimes one feels that uh, they have better controls even in a country like america only 50% of patients have so so they little ahead of us Right. But hypertension, as such, is a disease which causes less symptoms. So compliance is an issue. Correct. Correct. Yeah. And I think people often think that they can treat it the way they treat a flu, right? So when the symptom is high, they'll take a medication, but they don't understand that they need to take that medication regularly and not only when it's going high. So. So. Um, yeah. um, so again in terms of you know we talked of the gender differences is there any other is there any difference in the prognosis and management of the condition between the two genders or symptoms anything uh, that is different well uh, not really to a very large extent but uh, the male obesity as uh, people would know is more of uh, actually uh, the central obesity Uh, the apple obesity and the women obesity is more of uh, they uh, uh, they collect more fat on the hips and the thighs so male and female pattern of obesity is are different and sometimes that does not get diagnosed so easily uh, so obesity is a very important uh, risk factor and right. i would say compliance is an issue because in high blood pressure patients get breathless and uh, the situation is better than hypertension and diabetes because they these two things cause less don't in fact do not cause symptoms but by the time someone has heart failure they start getting breathless and as physicians uh, it becomes easier for us to convince them that they have to be regular with their medicines right so generally uh, by the time they become uh, they have breathing difficulty uh, the men and the women uh, their compliance is improved in terms of uh, as far as prognosis is concerned uh, people have seen that heart failure uh, in terms of sex differences doesn't ma- have much issues uh, men and women have similar prognosis and as you rightly said it all depends on the drug compliance if people are regular with their uh, 
Uh, and a very important thing is lifestyle modification has important. If someone can reduce weight, if someone can be active, uh, overexertion is to be avoided, but some physical activity will keep their muscle blood flow ongoing. And in fact, it makes the heart function also better. So a monitored and a cardiac rehabilitation program of the kind your physician tells you, depending upon right. your condition, that much must be done. Right, right. Thank you.